finish there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to be talking about turkesterone. More specifically, claims, claims that Greg Doucette's HTLT turkesterone doesn't have anywhere near the amount of turkesterone per capsule that the label states. Before we get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, let me pull this up. We're going to dive into this a little bit. A lot of people are talking about this. Uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, or More Dates, More Plates. I don't follow his channel. Hate on me if you want. No disrespect, man. I actually commented on my Instagram post, so I thought this would be a good, uh, good uh, topic for discussion. Now, what we have here, and again, before I get started, um, this is not a witch hunt against Greg. Uh, we are simply looking at this as a news story. What is going on? What is taking place in the industry? And um, we'll see how Greg responds. We'll see how Derek responds. We'll see if a lawsuit takes place uh, because this is uh, some pretty aggressive claims. So I posted this on Insta Stories. You can see the imager in yellow if you want to look at the full image. But um, this is from a Reddit post, and we're going to dive into that shortly. Basically, you can see the label. It shows that each capsule of Greg's HTLT supplement, uh, Trichesterone supplement, is supposed to contain, the label claim is 500 milligrams per capsule. Here is the quote from the Reddit post, which we're going to look at shortly. They claim on their label that there is 500 milligrams terkestrone in each capsule. We found 0 0.78 milligrams per capsule. That is 0.0015% of label claim or over 641 times less than they claim to be in there. So this is a substantial sub substantial difference and it's from a chrome chromatogram uh and that's let's drop this for a minute and we're we're gonna pull up um let's see here's the reddit post so this is from nootropics depot nootropics depot and we'll it's uh, i'm gonna link this down below it's a very very lengthy reddit post lab testing results of turkesterone uh, and uh, they're talking about in here, Gorilla Mind, uh, Derek. Um, they're talking about Greg. If we do a search, you can see HTLT is um, Greg's, and they have the chromatogram from the HTLT Turk Builder product. And here is the actual quote you can see it's exactly the same situation small peak for turkesterone and big feet peak. For beta ectosterone, uh, they claim on their label that there is 500 milligrams terkesterone in each uh, capsule. We found 0 0.78 milligrams per capsule, et cetera, et cetera. So basically what's being stated here is that these guys did a test. And from what I can verify, um, it looks like chain of custody is intact. It looks like everything was legit the way they handled the test. And that is uh, just my opinion, my opinion from looking at things, from watching also several videos on the topic. So just take that for what it is, my opinion. But it looks like it was a legit test with legit chain of custody. Now, uh, this is what I, per I posted this on um, my Instagram. We have been testing a bunch of turkesterone samples for a while now. We have not found a single sample that has passed our testing. None of the stuff claiming to be turkesterone has any appreciable amount of turkesterone. And that is really the claim from Nootropics Depot. They, don't have a new they do not have a turkesterone um, product. So we need to establish that. It's not like one competitor going after another. These guys do not have a turkesterone product from what I can understand. So they're doing some independent testing on turkesterone products in the market. And they have found 
uh, nothing, nothing is even, no label claim is even close to what's really in any of this stuff. So they're not just singling out HTLT or Greg Doucette. They're singling out everybody they've tested. And I believe in the Reddit post, there is some information stating that uh, some of this testing results have been verified from some labs in China. You guys can check that out yourself. Here is a response from More Plates, More Dates, Derek. And it says, we have additional third-party test results using LC-MS, not, not using UV Viz. And I posted elaborate responses in the subreddit thread. Our standards come from Chromadex. I can't speak for all other companies, uh, but we did our due diligence. There are some opinions on YouTube that, um, and some comments that I've heard, and I can't verify this. So again, take this as secondhand information and um, do with it what you will. But Derek cannot find these on his laptop. That was the word I received. So if this is incorrect information or on his laptop or on his computer, if this is incorrect information, please let me know. Uh, to date, uh, that's the most current information I have is that this, uh, this testing cannot be located. So I'll be curious if he can. I'm not trying to um, I'm not trying to drag uh, Derek out in the middle of public square here. I'm just telling you what I heard. So it is opinion, and um, uh, so we'll wait to see how that uh, that unfolds. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much the story. We have Nootropics Depot um, basically doing independent testing of these turkesterone supplements and finding that they're nowhere near the label claims. Basically, the claim is that these turkesterone products are basically a bunch of powder uh, just pixie dusted with a little minor, minor amount of turkesterone, and it's, it's being marked up and sold. So this would be a huge scandal in the industry. We'll wait to see how it unfolds. I wanted to mention this. I wanted to talk about this because... Uh, anybody that's been following me knows that I'm a skeptic of the supplement industry in general. I believe we have a right to be skeptical because the supplement industry has a long history littered with trash supplements. So in no way is this a uh, in no way is this a witch hunt uh, over one after one individual. I simply want you guys to know that these turkesterone supplements. As we know right now, uh, don't look very good. It's not a promising. It's not a a promising outlook on what people have been buying, and we have seen uh, tons and tons of pushback for turkesterone from folks that are taking it. You know, claiming I took it and did this. I took it and this happened, and uh, I'm not discounting that. I'm not discounting that. But we need to understand, and we need to set. Uh, 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 next to these claims, the possibility that these turkesterone supplements don't have anything in them other than a little bit of pixie dust uh, turkesterone. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.